Welcome back to the Dubai Desert Classic and more movement on the leaderboard than there is with the sand in the dunes on the nearby desert. And Bernhard Langer, a birdie at the 10th, goes to 15 under par and into the lead. Malcolm McKenzie making a charge at the shortest hole on the golf course, a two for him. That puts him three under par for the day and 13 under for the tournament. Paul McGinley, he's refreshed after a, a safari to Cape Town a couple of weeks ago. And that takes him to 12 under and three shots back. Richard Green having a few problems in the sand at the 10th. A delightful bunker shot though and he gets his birdie. But the Greg Norman charge was about to be punctured. A bogey at the 12th. And he's two back but he's going the other way. It's Langer from Green. Norman's still very much in touch, but Malcolm McKenzie has dropped a shot at the 12th, and he's three back. On the beach, the waste bunker down the left of the 12th. The longest four on the golf course. 171 yards of four iron, plays into the breeze and up the hill. So from there, not a bad result. Raymond Burns goes to 12 under, just three off the lead now. Burns going for his third consecutive top 10 finish here. Burns loves the heat in the desert. Another player who certainly enjoys this Emirates Golf Club, Colin Montgomery, second in 95, winner last year. This little chip at the 12th. I'm slightly disappointed, obviously fancies his chances of chipping it in, but uh, always a good four. Mackenzie on the 13th. It's been a good weekend for Malcolm. He's a Sheffield Wednesday supporter in the English Premiership and they beat Middlesbrough 3-1 on Saturday. Ooh, well, that might be the only good news he has uh, after that because I think that's gone into the water. One of the three wedges that Langer carries, the middle one. with a flag and a little bit firmer and that would have been in the bottom of the cup. Greg Norman, 13 under par on the 13th and he's going to have to to move this one slightly, Ken. Bit of a high fade, the pin cut, eight on four from the left hand side. And hold your head up. Just about does, not much rough there and often the ball kicks into the water. But plenty of green to work with and back up the hill, so not a bad result for Greg Norman. And here's a green working pretty well. I first saw him at the Volvo Masters in October. He closed there with two rounds of 70 to finish joint ninth, and he, he has this habit of finishing strongly in tournaments. Second to Mark Ferry in the BMW Open. Rain shortened that was. So here's a, a lath of ball in his comeback, and this is for a birdie. And he has played, really has been a quite incredible return for a laugh about. It's as if he's never been away. Such a competitor. Everyone absolutely delighted to see him back and he certainly was striping the ball on the practice ground this morning. Now we use them, a big swinger from right to left. There's a look at that putter. He's done it. He's done it. Uh, this could be a good story. Now, Woosnam on his birthday, 39 years of age he is. Not the sort of birthday you would normally celebrate. Getting close to 40 now as Woozy. Now, Malcolm McKenzie was in the water here. This is fourth shot and a tough one it is too. And that is a marvellous effort. Just seven or eight yards of green to work with over that bunker. On the 12th green, Richard Green has played a pretty poor pitch shot, and this is for a par. He hasn't dropped a shot all day. Oh, the first one slips away from him. And he drops back to 13 under. Now one of the best chippers in the game, Greg Norman. And I first played with him way back in... 
In the mid 70s he was very poor around the greens particularly with his chipping and now he's absolutely deadly and he dropped a stroke at the last a chance to pick one up here at the par 5 Thomas Googley on the 18th green well he's not really he's actually on, on the 9th green big double green here interesting uh, shot selection here Ken deciding to, uh, to chip it here yes keep quiet Ken Glover the green keeper won't be over impressed if he <laughs> takes a big divot out but that's Pretty well played, I have to say. You'd have to give that one 9 out of 10, but you can see where that pin is cut. The other players are going to have to come to that later on. Just 4 yards of green in front of it and 5 behind. It's a real tough hit, that 18th. Cam Norman resume the charge, which has suffered a minor hiccup. Yes, indeed he does. That's for a birdie. And he's 14 under. Now this is for a 65 for Googly, 37th last week in Houghton, finished second in the German Open to Woosnam last year and really starting to feature on the leaderboards, but disappointment. It is a 66 though, and he leads in the clubhouse, or is it a Bedouin tent, on 13 under. Excellent round of golf, no drop shots. Malcolm McKenzie, this for a par, he has had water trouble. Toe up putting style, a bit like uh, Isaiah Aoki. Didn't work from that time, and it's Langer on his own in front. One shot clear, five majors between them, the first three on page one of the leaderboard. A Ryder Cup hopeful, Paul McGinley, going along very nicely again this week. His little chip from the back of the par 3, 15th, so every chance of saving his par there and remaining at 13 under. Now Langer at the 13th, the par 5, it's a pickup hole, but he's pulled, oh and he's hit somebody there. Did that hit, it may have caught somebody on the, the back of the head and I well, hope he's all right. A huge tee shot for Greg Norman at the par 4, 14th. A good, hard, crisp wedge. And the wind just not bringing it back. Often gathers up from there and he can't quite believe it. Now Langer, if this ball hadn't hit the spectator, it would have been way up the cart path. Oh, a nasty sandy line. Had to keep it under a branch of a tree and carry it over that Bermuda grass and, well, it's not often you see the German miss hit one like that. A test of his Teutonic temperament indeed. Now the Irishman McGinley, the Austrian Open champion. And that's a par at the 15th and he's 13 under and, and by no means out of it. This one's slightly easier but still no green to work with. And just trapped a little bit of grass between the club and the ball and didn't impart much spin on it. So on the very birdieable 13th, Langer struggling for a par. Malcolm McKenzie, he's just dropped two shots in a row and a real character test for him now and a birdie at 14. And that'll settle him down again. From the top tier, the back of the 13th. Quite a bit of swing from right to left and pretty quick. This for an eagle three for Montgomery. Beautiful touch. Absolute delight to watch. So Montgomery not out of it by any means. Just for a birdie for Greg Norman. Three birdies and an eagle today, offset by one bogey. Norman off to the Doral course uh, next week. He's won there three times the Doral Rider Open on the tough Blue Monster course, which has been toughened even further, we hear, by Raymond Floyd. Can Langer save his par? I'm expecting a little bit more break, so a bogey six for Bernard Langer. And he slips back into the pack. Three men on 14 under par. Thomas Googley is in the clubhouse. Choose any one from five or six at the moment. What a finish it will be.